I am the nature hacker, and this is your world. <laughs> All right, so today I made something called hydroiodic acid, and if you want to look it up on Wikipedia, it's hydrogen iodide, which is a gas, but you know it's dissolved in water. It's hydroiodic acid. So how did I make it? Well, what I did is I took 85% phosphoric acid as concentrated as possible it might have been a little more than 85 percent on the bottle it says 85 percent plus i got it from duda diesel so great supplier there now um i took that i took uh 79 mils of that okay 79 mils and i added 166 grams of potassium iodide okay now I put that into a flask. Now I ran a distillation setup, or I had a distillation setup set up, and um, so on my collecting, the, the the thing that comes down into the the round bottom collector had a little vacuum vent on it. Okay, so you're probably going to want that just because it releases a lot of gas. And what I did is I ran a tube from that outgassing vent and I just ran it up to a vent in my place so I let all that gas go to waste all right and that is what you want to do if you want the most concentrated hydroiodic acid possible I mean you might be able to recover a couple percent more by collecting that gas in water but really it's not worth it you know you might be able to get 10 percent extra but trust me, it's not worth it. You're going to lose it in the end anyway, and I will explain why. So I ran that distillation. So remember, 85% phosphoric acid, you need that, okay? And uh, so I did 79 mils of that. I did 166 mils of potassium iodide. I boiled it. And the thing online says that you need to heat it up to 400 C. That's bogus, okay? You don't. That's totally wrong. You only uh, 200 C is plenty. So if you did an oil bath and you used a co any common oil and you brought it up to the smoke point, uh, that's plenty. And don't get it much hotter than the smoke point because it could t start on fire. And if that happens, you just have to cover cover. You turn the heat off and pull the flask out and cover it with. Uh, a plate or something your oil bath so anyway um, you heat it at 200 C you boil it off and then once the the uh, it stops making acid you know it stops condensing acid you're done you know they say oh you have to heat it up to 400 C now it just it doesn't happen so because I know because I got all of the possible liquid I could have possibly gotten okay so um, yeah, so there was a total possible of 38 mils of liquid, and the way I did that was uh, the 15% of um, the phosphoric acid is water, so there's there's that, so 15% of 79, I don't know, it's like 28, I think, or something. Uh, so then, but then for every molecule of phosphoric acid, one piece of water comes off there. So it's like H2PO4. What happens is you lose one, you lose two H's, uh, and you lose an O. So you form PO3. So you have H2 and O comes out of P, the phosphoric acid. So, um, so, so, so we had one mole of phosphoric acid in our little thing. 79 milliliters of phosphoric acid was one mole of phosphoric acid okay so then a mole of water comes off of there which is 18 grams so actually it was a 20 so the the water in the phosphoric acid was 20 milliliters and then 18 milliliters because it's one gram per milliliter of water 18 milliliters of water comes off of the phosphoric acid so the total maximum amount of liquid I should have been able to get was 38 milliliters I got 37 milliliters so there wasn't anything left to go so you don't have to heat it to 400 C just 200 C is plenty which is a smoke point of practically any oil 
And, you know, it ran in um, an hour or so, you know, it wasn't that long. So the guide says it takes 24 hours, which is totally BS as well. All right, so I got it out, and luckily I measured the concentration right off the bat because I was going to distill it down or, you know, boil it down to try to concentrate it more. But first I wanted to see what it started out at. So I measured it. I had 37 milliliters, and it weighed 66.6 .6 grams. Okay. I did the math, and that is... 65% hydroiodic acid. Supposedly 57% is the highest you can get. So, how did I get so much? Well, there just wasn't enough water to get to the 57%. So, that's the key. Using the 85% phosphoric acid. Using the 85%, it was key to keep, keep the water low enough to where you're getting a lot of uh, a very highly concentrated thing. And how would you go even more concentrated? Well, uh, you could try to add some drying agent to your, um, so you add the phosphoric acid and the potassium iodide, you could try to add some type of, high, uh, of um, drying agent like maybe calcium chloride, something like that, to try to get the concentration even higher. So. There is that possibility there. I mean, you could try adding phosphoric acid, but supposedly that oxidizes it and just releases it as like iodine vapor or something. So it's just not good. So, um, yeah, so I got 65% hydroiodic acid. Then I made the stupid mistake of trying to boil it. And so I tried to boil it. I even did it under vacuum, so it wasn't getting too hot. But what happened was I just lost a lot of the acid, it just vaporized a lot of the acid and I went from 65% uh, down to 48% hydroiodic acid. So don't try to boil or concentrate, it just doesn't work. Just use the 85%. Do not collect the vapor. Supposedly they say, you know that vapor that comes off that I just put up to a vent and vent it out? They say put that vape, put that tube into a glass of water and let that vapor form hydroiodic acid in the water. Yeah, you're going to get a little bit, but then suppose and then you're supposed to add that water into your your what you distilled off and then boil that, which is just stupid because now you you took your 65% hydroiodic acid, you made it like 20% and then you boil it down to like 48%. So it's like you just lose your concentration there. So, you know, for somebody like me doing battery research, you want as very concentrated as possible. So now I got 48%, which I'm kind of bummed about. I had 65% and now it's at 48 but it should work for what I'm uh, doing with my battery research. But um, in the future, I will make the 65 And heck, I'm going to add some calcium chloride to that reaction mixture next time and see if I can bump it up even higher. So thanks for watching. This is the real truth about making hydroiodic acid. I am the nature hacker. Do work.